sucks the 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 camera first pops up it's like so much more light and I hit the record and it goes dark. Uh so first thing on my mind is uh I was like I guess I had to bury the other three and I was looking at old pictures and I'd seen a picture when I first got them and you know, touched my heart and all that, but I was looking at the date and it was only May twelfth, which is ten days ago. So implications are that the larvae and eggs could still be going through the soul survivor's system therefore he could he might not have got the worst of what's to come yet so that's like that was that was harsh um and so i was just like like fuck this um i started looking shit up and uh, I had to figure, like, I had to figure something out without saying too much. Um, yeah, this is just, so I, I have to. Uh, other than that, though, yeah, I was thinking about going and, and burying the other three, and I was, like, thinking about something I read earlier from uh, Frank Herbert, who wrote the Dune series. Doing like gestures in my hand, but you can't see it's off camera. Uh, one of the things he wrote was that uh, religion started off as like a female thing, because they have the community and they would, you know, there's a there's a funeral procession. They would all like cry and wail and lament together and everything. It's very emotional based. So originally, religion was like a a female monopoly. Females had a monopoly on it. Until it became too much of a political power, and then men took it over. But I thought of that because, like most people, well, not like a lot of people would just be like, "Oh, just bury him in the backyard, throw it in the trash, whatever." Uh, and like the emotions of it, like activate a lot of some symbolic. A lot of like like humans are symbolic creatures. So that's why we have that, that level of religion. And I think, like, animals are, too, just a little bit. Like, I'm sure the guy here, like, gets that his siblings are not around. And that they're, they're, they're past. And so I was taking him out to learn to start hunting. And that's when I found out. That's when I figured that's been the smallest one. And then the other one was kind of like kind of sick, but he was kind of like, okay, maybe he, he maybe he'd pull out. But the, but the littlest one was really, really bad off. Though at one point when they all started playing and stuff and there was like the, the other birds from like the adult birds and stuff in the area was started chirping. The littlest one did like just stand up like he was just like laying down like like dying. And then he just he, he summoned up all of his energy to stand back up and look around for a minute so but like seeing as that was the last place that they was all together that should be the place where like I bury him I didn't want to bury him too soon because I didn't know if this one's going to make it or not you know figure bury them all together if that's the case and I was thinking well he's he's doing alright so maybe you know Maybe it's time because there's a smell, and then I seen the picture and I looked at the date and it was yeah only ten days ago so so I can't know if like there's like more to come because like I've like really been with this food and stuff making sure it's not contaminated or anything like that because he, like I'm afraid even just a couple more worms that get up in there could could do the thing to just to completely to, to block it block his his breathing because right, i got I, I hear the ticks in his in his breathing and like it doesn't take it doesn't take a fucking vet to figure shit out like i'm i'm pissed like i'm getting like more like i got too many vendettas already i got more vendettas than i can deal with in a lifetime but it doesn't take a fucking vet to figure it out what's wrong with them and it's like oh it's a wild bird so it's like it's people's pets matter more but People's pets are domesticated. They eat 
they eat like dry balls of dry brown dry brown balls like like it's I so fucked up like I don't believe in keeping pets really it's one thing if like fate it brings it to you but to like go out and be like oh I want to own this creature and then I'm like like I, when I was younger I, I did the same sort of thing but I had to be morally against it at this point and then definitely morally against like things like dog food cat food like that's not fucking food like this guy eats watermelon beans and he's eating the mealworms and I want to get him some more beef if I can somehow uh it's real food. Oh man, advertising. I just, I just remember the freaking the the cat food commercial I seen is probably why it's somewhat Yeah, it's just it's like it's like their family so they eat like family and shit. Like no, they don't. They eat bullshit. And it's just it's just that's what humans are going to be eating when the fucking new world order takes over. It's going to be different Cheetos and like maybe taco Doritos and spaghetti Doritos. And you'll just have Doritos poured into your fucking bowl. And you'll fucking love it. And there'll be like all sorts of food porn on the commercials. Just, oh, wow, I love these Doritos so much. Oh, I'm a, f it's like I'm smoking crack. Like, uh, like, like that, like, like, the, like the Burger King commercial or McDonald's. Oh, I'm biting into a Whopper. It's like, or it's like an orgasm. Like, like, yeah, okay. Like, this is why you're, this is why America's like, Partly why it's bad as fuck, but I mean, it just, it really goes on further than that. Like they, you know, they want you to, they want you to have alcohol, tobacco, fast food, like shit that drags you down. And then they want you to have, uh, have like the seven deadly sins. They want you to be lustful for it. You know, they want you to be gluttonous. That's what they're inducing into you with their fucking, their, their advertisements. So, like, advertisers should burn. Like, yeah, just straight up. Uh, I guess that's a good point to segue into, like... I was gonna... Let's probably talk about other things, but obviously that's the first on my mind. I went ahead and, like, I mentioned the hair ties. Like, I did a video. I also showed a belt. And I'm like, hey, I could attach a couple knives to this. Well, let's see. Boop. And it's just... And then the other hand. So uh, these aren't my knives that I usually use. I kind of got those put away because I'm packing and trying to figure shit out. But bam, two knives right on the belt there. Just a couple hair ties. And that's really like a shoddy job of it, of setting the hair ties up. Oh, uh, what else do we got? Oh, we got some purse mods I'm going to show. Uh, oh, before that. So like hat mods. Like I just cut on the side and then I can pull my ponytail through and then my hat doesn't go flying off or anything. It's actually kinda of, it's been useful. Uh so I have this attached like this is like a leash, but it's been useful. Uh I had to like lower my stuff down a wall and so I just, you know, wrap it around that and then I can lower it down a wall and not have all my groceries smash because you know climbing walls or hopping fences or whatnot uh one time I got like the cops pulled up on me he's like hands on the <laughs> told me to put my hands on the on the hood or whatever I, just, I told him no and then I just like really passive passively aggressively um didn't technically resist but I I, I I I like I had the candy bar in my hand and I kept eating it until I couldn't just fuck that motherfucker. Uh, but, yeah, one of the first things he did was was detach this like it was a weapon. And, like, okay, yeah, legit. It, it is, it is like, could be used as, it could technically be used as a weapon. And one day I was out walking and I found this chain. And when I got back today, I was like, you know, I'm going to finally attach this to, to, some, to a purse like I thought I would. And so I figured out that, like, this chain's perfect for this small purse. And yeah, I can detach it pretty easy. Uh, I mean, fuck. To be like, to be legit, like, 
like there's there's plenty of, of heavy objects that could also be put on the chain and to make it into like a flail like some a heavy duty flail oh shit um so yeah i i like i kind of make weapons just by accident like me melee weapons but you know some of them got some decent range to them still melee just with reach if you play D&D. &D. I mean that's probably how I want to go to war. Uh, also because I, I hate this fucking country. But yeah I, I actually think I'd be pretty decent at it. Well I mean I mean even with the you know running out of ammo thing like I'm, I, my creativity is is enough that that I gonna find ways to fuck shit up, even if I don't have ammo or a gun. You know, put me in a war zone, I'll figure some shit out. I gotta figure out the kinetics. I gotta get my throwing skill up. My throwing's kind of atrocious. I I really gotta practice that. Get that up. That's like, I'm pretty sure I said this before, like way back. Uh, it's like the very most basic of, of human like human offensive capabilities. You know, we don't bite things. We throw big ass rocks. Oh yeah, there is one more. Uh, well, there's probably a few more, but this is the one I remember. So on the back side of this, you know, how the sort of loops around, so it creates this thing right here, which I can attach. Like I got to attach a carabiner to just for demonstration, with with all the oh there we go, with all the uh, things you can attach to it, and then. One of the issues is like you bend down and then the purse goes, goes sliding down, right? So that's why I got this like key ring here on the belt, and I can easily enough just kind of just one handed and keep this aimed up. I don't have to cheat for a sec because I need two hands real quick. I had to get all these, I had a bunch of sh all these bands on here too, it's kind of messing me up. Oh, that's not demonstrated very well. Hey, but I still got, okay, I just got to put the damn phone down. Oh, that works out. Look at that. Alright, now that I get those out the way. Much easier. Bam. So when I go to bend down, like the purse doesn't go slapping down. And purses are great for carrying lots of lots of things. Like I mean, I know they're not manly, so you know if you're a man, you can't use them uh, unless you're a tranny. And yeah, I like I like that term. I don't think uh, I think most. Trans folk have not earned the right to be called tranny. Uh, I mean, I guess I keep going on, but the video's gonna run out of memory in a minute, and then I gotta wait for an hour or whatever for it to like load up, or I could maybe do another one. And I still got a lot of shit on my mind. There's a lot of shit here to do. And I got a lot of stuff out, but it's a lot of stuff that's still got to go, and it's got orders that it's got to go in, like you know, a certain, this goes first, this goes last, this goes middle, and it's got to be broken up properly, distributed, so I can have a reasonable amount of supplies wherever I go, even if it's all hodgepodge and like, you know, poor people shit. Oh. Uh, well, that's it for this video because I'm out of time.